our airsoft inventory update. Our Echo One P90 came in the mail today. It came with two Mincat magazines. And it came with a metal black flash rider instead of a orange one, which looked really ugly. We got this and it's about 390 FPS, $150, $155 on Airsoft GI. It's a great buy. Um, it shoots amazingly. We got whoops, semi automatic. Actually, that was semi automatic. Nice solid noise, and then we got automatic. Listen to how fast it shoots. Yeah, very awesome. Only bad thing about these magazines is that the last bullet it rattles. It's loose. And I don't really like the fake bullet look, so I'm going to ask you guys, would you rather me paint these black or camo? It's your guys' choice. Or just leave them like this, whatever you choose. Okay, um, also, there's a hop-up system on this gun. It's under here. You slide this door back, and there's a little wheel. And it's right to hop up and left to hop down. And then, slide that back closed. You have this little lever thing here. You have the choice between safety, semi-automatic, and automatic. Then you have this thing right here that has no purpose at all. It just is there. It's pretty good for the looks. You have a tactical rail here and two small ones on the side. It's a full metal rece top receiver. And you can take it off by pressing this button right here and sliding it up. But it's really hard to put back on, so I'm not going to do it. And I don't recommend you take it off either. Battery is in this back compartment. There's a little button right here. Right here. And you're going to press it and pull this off. And then lift. And it's very compact in there. You have your battery right here. Then you have your cords. And you just got to pack it all in there. To put this back. Take this and you put it halfway in, um, about right there, and slide up, and it'll click into place. To take off the magazines, there's two side ones right here that you pull back, and then you put in. And to put in the magazines, you're going to take the magazine, and there's a hole right here in a circle you want to put this circle on the bottom push this in and then hit down this top and then you're ready to shoot this gun has just a little bit of kickback which is really cool um that's about it for my first update this is my Walther P22 and I stencil camoed it and it looks really cool. I used olive green, hunter green, and khaki. I left the tip orange, but I'm going to be painting it black, so it'll be a nice touch. I painted only the bottom of the mag, just because I didn't want to paint the whole thing so I could still see the bullets. But, um, it still cocks, and the hammer still works. So, um, it's really good. Uh-oh. Um, I definitely like this paint job. If you guys have any tips, you should um, comment them down below.